Hi, everyone out there. Jim Barcelone. I'm, as you see, I'm one that handles this channel, doing the interviews with pro wrestlers, MMA fighters, behind the scenes, sometimes a little highlights of certain shows, indie shows, just uh, providing content here because I just love pro wrestling, have all my life, and enjoy MMA now, especially in South Florida where you have two world-renowned training centers within the same area and a couple other training centers in South Florida, which are very good too, producing some really good fighters. So, but today, since we're almost into WrestleMania, later on, early April, Philadelphia, see I've got some WrestleMania 19, WrestleMania 24, Orlando, WrestleMania 25, Houston, WrestleMania 19, Seattle. And had my Legends shirt on. I was very happy to read about Panini card making that they have worked out their agreement. They've worked out a settlement and agreement with WWE to continue doing the trading cards, which are really cool. When I was young, I would always get baseball, football, some basketball, and even some hockey cards. I would also go to the stores, ride my bicycle to the little convenience store up the road, get a pack of cards for like a nickel, 10 cents. Yeah, that's how old I am. So but it was really fun with the cards. And later on, as WWF started to have some cards and WWE and WCW, I was collecting some of those cards as well. Not as much as I used to when I was little, when I was younger, but I came across the story about Panini and WWE and how there was a fallout there and WWE, fallout, the whole thing, you know, the whole story. I'm sure you all read about it, but now it's all settled. Everything's good. And Panini's come out with cards, WWE cards, which is very cool. I have some here of the new collection and I'll read this for the first time in history, the fabled Donruss Elite brand. Donruss, I remember doing a lot with the baseball cards. Anyway, the Fable Donruss Elite brand comes to WWE. Look for everything that has made Elite such a collecting icon. You have, including the aspirations, the status parallels, the passing, the torch autographs, the spellbound insert, and so much more. Really cool. So you have this. So I actually have a box of the new cards and i wanted to go through that and share it with you and see what we have inside see what's in there and all i think it'd be really cool i'll show you this all right here we go up oh, there we go let's see carmelo hayes oscar gunta and seth rollins on the box cover and there are certain Boxes, you can get this one has eight cards per pack and you get 20 packs. And Walmart, Target, various places to get the cards. Really cool. So open this up. Panini, back in the day, I have Panini soccer cards back in the day, 2010 World Cup. I have some Panini soccer cards from them. Actually, I have the sticker book. I don't know if I remember, remember going to. Walgreens or another convenience store and getting the sticker book and then buying the Panini stickers, World Cup Soccer Stars. All right, so here we go. Actually, I actually have a few packs that I've opened already, but I'll show you some of the cards. Here's one of the packs. They all have the same cover. So it's always fun with card collecting. I always thought it's always been a good hobby. Some people were into stamps, coin collecting different types of collecting. So let's see if we can get this going. There we go. All right, let's see what we have. Ah, carrying cross. Really cool on quality of the cards. Really come a long way back from the top space ball cards way back when. Now, when these were made, this is the 2023 set. That's the new set that's coming out. So you're going to have some superstars who are no longer part of the company. 
Top Dollar, AJ Francis. He wrestled a lot down here in South Florida and throughout Florida, making his mark. He did play a little football with the Miami Dolphins and then parlay transition to pro wrestling. Jay Uso. I know on the carrying cross, I do want to go back to carrying cross. We'll get to him at the end here. LA Knights. He's come a long way in his career. And on the back, you see they have information on each superstar. Really cool. Dijak. Ring of Honor. I remember Dijak and Ring of Honor. Really good run there. And then now he's having his run in NXT. Ah, the legend, Rey Mysterio. Six one nine. How about the run Rhea Ripley is on? That's amazing. For as young as she is, too, doing such great things. Really cool. Hey, yeah, B Fab. I saw her at an indie show in South Florida a few years ago. It was part of a autograph signing they had this one's numbered so we have 21 of 99 i want to go back to the carrying cross and he's got the purple background purple and blue really cool sort out some of the special cards like that we'll go through a bunch of these Drew McIntyre with the red background, like that. Montez Ford, Montez and Bianca have their own streaming show, reality show. There's the cup and the crown. Speaking of reality shows, The Miz, Miz and Mrs. USA Network. Ah, just announced WWE Hall of Famer Paul Heyman. NXT's JC Jane. She was Avery Taylor on the Florida circuit. He did a rock persona, rock and roll. Really cool. Good to see her doing well in NXT. Phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Zia Lee. Brock Lesnar. Let's see what else we have. We got a lot of packs to go through. So, oh, this is an interesting one. So, we have a lead deck. We got a specialty card. Ron Breaker. Ron has done so well in such a short period of time. I know he has the family lineage. Butch. A tough wrestler. Another tough wrestler. Tyler Bate. Pack of cards here. Bronson Reed. Who's very well for a big man. Big fan of Bronson Reed. Maxine Dupree. She's been in the news lately with fans booing her. I mean, it takes time. But what do you say? Fans are allowed. They pay their money. They can do that. If anybody's fault, if you want to say it's anyone's fault, it's not her fault. It's the company's fault. You put a person in that situation, they should be ready. So if they're not ready, you got to look at the company. got to look deeper inside it, what's going on. Shinsuke Nakamura. 
I'm glad they're using him in the heel persona. He is such a really good heel. Joe Gacy from NXT. Very bizarre, very mind manipulating. Ilya Dragunov. Big things in NXT. Be interesting to see how things go with WrestleMania coming up in Philadelphia. Home of Rocky. Sylvester Stallone has those WWE ties with Hulk Hogan. Be interesting to see if, if they somehow get Sly involved in WrestleMania. Rocky and The Rock. All right. Up. Oh. Here we go. Star status. Specialty card. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You know what's interesting to me? It's Cody Roman, Seth Rock. And although Seth and Roman are part of it, of course, but it's interesting to me that the two main figures in this whole storyline are now Cody and Rock. Who are not champions. Rollins and Reigns are champions. It's just interesting how that all twisted and turned. Here's a turn of the century card autographed JBL Bradshaw. Actually, signs it. Signs it as Bradshaw. Before he was JBL, he was. Brad Shaw. That's interesting how they did that one and signed it. So two specialty cards in that pack. Jimmy Uso. How about the Usos? Great tag team. Several years. You see tag teams. Were they pushed? Were they not so pushed so much? And then they had great matches with New Day. And then all of a sudden, the Usos just explode. And this whole bloodline. This great for them. Bailey just goes out and does her job. And it's so good to see her being rewarded. She just does, no matter what role she's in, she does really well. It's always the thing with WWE superstars or any pro wrestlers. If you can take whatever's given and make something out of it, you're going to have a long career. Alexa Bliss, one of WWE's newest moms. Also from Ohio. How many how many top talents are from Ohio? I don't know what's in the water there. Chad Gable. I like Chad. I like what he's doing. Nathan Frazier from NXT. Sonya Deville. Sonny Bill's really good at making you not like her. She has those heel tendencies. Sometimes those can't be taught. Sometimes you have them or you don't. All right, let's open up another pack. I think we'll open up a few more packs. And then maybe what we'll do is mix it up a little bit. Now we have the, let's see if we get this one. Certain way I like to open the packs. Just don't like to, you know, tear them open. I like to do this so I can put them back in the pack. Of course, I have for the specialty cards, I do have some holders, sheets. There's nine. You can fit nine on these or 18 if you go back and forth, back to back on them. I know. A lot of people also have the individual for each card separately, not on a sheet. This one just happens to have Ron Breaker on it. When Panini last did the cards, this is a number nine. Really cool. Friend, friend from 
an NXT show, WWE NXT in Fort Pierce at the Haverdell Fence Center. Gave me the card. That was really cool of them. And NXT will be coming up March 29th on a Friday, the week before big WrestleMania week. They'll be at the Haverdell Fence Center. Really fun shows. Tickets are like $10 for general admission, $20 for front two or three rows. You get to see the NXT superstars and new talent, developmental talent that will be on TV someday. So it's a really, uh, really a nice time going to NXT shows on the Coconut Loop, the Citrus Circuit throughout Florida. Usually they go, Fort Pierce is probably the furthest south they come. And Fort Pierce, Florida is about maybe an hour and a half from Pompano Beach, sort of near Boca Raton, that area. You go 90 miles north and you hit Fort Pierce. It's 90 miles south of Orlando. So usually that's the farthest south that they they venture for NXT shows. But they're really cool. They're a lot of fun. All right, here's star status. It's a good one. Bobby Lashley. Great to see Bobby's success and being involved in big storylines. Really good talent. Another great talent, Finn Balor. It's a good pack. And we have Sami Zayn, everyone's favorite. I still think when Sami Zayn was healed, they should have had different music for him, but he's a face. I guess a lot of people like the ska music anyway. The Viper, Randy Orton. True Grage just watched his biography, a &E biography on the a &E Network, of course. WWE biography, Randy Orton. That was a really good show. I like learning about the real life, the history of talent. These hands, Braun Strowman. Put the back of the car to information i remember tops baseball cards back in the day they would have a, a q a question and answer trivia for fans it's really really cool kiana james she's from flatbacks wrestling academy tyler breeze sean spears sort of central florida area and she's come a long way in a short period of time it's really good to see her development and then obviously learn in the WWE Performance Center. Here we have another Bobby Lashley. The almighty Bobby Lashley. I liked him and MVP together doing their thing. It was really good. MVP, another Miami guy. JD McDonough. The head of Judgment Day, not the face, he's the head. Not head. Damien Priest, Rhea Ripley, but got a big head. And I mean that ego-wise, too. It's interesting with WWE to see how far it's come over the years. Back when first, I mean, really first started WWWF, Capital Wrestling. When I watched back in the day, it was on WOR New York. In South Florida, we started to get WWR New York. They would show the Mets. And midnight on Saturdays would be an hour of WWF wrestling. And Vince McMahon was the commentator on those shows. Oh, here we have O'Case. Okay, speaking of MVP, we have the giant Olmos. Omos. Omos. It's really cool with the red background, specialty card. Omos went to the University of South Florida in Tampa. Even though everyone thinks University of South Florida is South Florida, it actually is in Tampa which is sort of more the center west of the state. But as you were in South Florida, Tampa, played basketball there. Joe Briscoe, he's the one that found, discovered Omos. 
Gerald Briscoe and Steve Kern, the two of them. I was one of the two that discovered Omos, maybe both. But I know they both were involved in his development and in finding him. The living legend, Natalia. How important she's meant to the company, women's wrestling, just the way she conducts everything, very classy, very important. Family, of course. Dragon Lee, exciting a lot of crowds. Really cool. Scarlet. I wonder if WWE will let Scarlet wrestle. Maybe she doesn't want to wrestle. I don't know. But it'd be interesting. Karen Cross and Scarlet. It's almost like a modern day version of Macho Man and Elizabeth, although Elizabeth was always an angel. That's a little different. But the popularity of these two, if they go that route, they could be really, really strong. Riddick Moss. WWE would always do these combines, like these NXT combines in the summer. And I remember watching a few of those on Peacock. And Riddick Moss and Bianca Belair would just tear it up against all the competition. It would be like an NFL a combine when they have them do the 40, they jump, but they measure them at all these different skills, like an NFL combine, which has been going on. And WWE did its own NXT combine, and those two would shine and win the competition. And I remember also that Matt Bloom was commentating he's a big part of the wwe performance center and did a really good job of commentary i always thought maybe he would get into commentary as well but anyway keep him very busy at the performance center in orlando your tribal chief roman reigns he's being acknowledged by panini Candice LeRae with Ohio's Johnny Gargano. Liv Morgan. Liv has done a really good job. Keep herself involved in big storylines. So we'll do one more pack. And thanks for taking the time to watch this. I enjoy card collecting i enjoy checking these things out um i also have i have a lot of hats actually Just thinking about showing off some of the hats someday all sports types of hats and events different things i have a ton of photos too that i've taken over the years at different big events small events just always out there mostly in florida We'll get this pack open. There we go. There we go. I told you, like I said, the packs, even the packs, they're the same. The outside of the packs. All the information on the other side. Barcode. Ah, great. The number card. 59 of 80. Oh, one of my favorites. KO. Kevin Owens. Here's another one. You give him anything, and he'll just hit it out of the park. And then let's do it on commentary. He just sounds so natural on commentary it's almost like just just go out there and talk you talk about the match talk about the superstars talk about what you're doing really cool oh we got the first double i believe omas gg dolan I like gg dolan a lot really good sorry at nxt events does a good job working the crowd at the events Quincy Elliott, 
cup of coffee with WWE NXT. Very unique, different persona. Ah, that's a good one. Shannon Stacks Lorenzo. This is great. It's another one that really did a good job in Florida. Worked the Indies, worked all over, but he worked Coastal Championship Wrestling. Wow, Lola Vice. She trained there for a little while at their training center in Pompano Beach near Fort Lauderdale. And you have Blake Howard, who's doing commentary on WWE Main Event. And he's also, or Level Up, sorry, I should say that. Um, WWE Level Up, doing commentary on that. Plus, he's doing the NXT circuit, hosting shows, ring announcing. Another great talent, did a lot of CCW with, uh, with Blake. At that time, Blake Chadwick. You had others that have come through, like really good talent there. Good to see him doing well now. But that was Coastal Championship Wrestling. Gangrel, WWE alum, is very involved with CCW. And they've been around 20 years as an indie. That's amazing. Most That's longest in Florida, one of the longest in North America. And they really put on good shows really a lot of shows and they do a lot of shows too throughout florida and in tennessee now remember he was jake tucker him and marina tucker blue brother and sister and they were heels it was really good and marina is wow women's wrestling champion she's on that program penelope pink is part of wow and I want to check that out. Got to go through who else is here and all, but I really want to check out here on doing a little Google search. And yeah, I wanted to do that here just to make sure. Wow, women are wrestling. Penelope Pink. And she was Marina Tucker when she's working for CCW. And, and still been doing shows for CCW. Here's Ricochet. Don't forget about me, Adam Pierce. Raquel Rodriguez. Good one. She always does the back laps pose should have done that on the back here you know the front and then she does the pose showing her strength and then tiffany stratton she's come a long way in a short period of time and now making a mark on the main roster all right so we'll go through the whole thing as you can hear the music in the background, maybe. But I did want to show some photos, too, just to give you an idea of some of the photos that I took way back when. I know we had William Regal on NXT. And his son, Charlie Dempsey, is there. So that's pretty, really cool. But here's a photo of Lance Storm and William Regal. At one of our Florida shows. Chris Jericho. A lot of the shows I attended were in Miami or Sunrise, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach. Rico here. With the Wolverine sideburns. Hugh Jackman and Regal. I mean, Hugh Jackman and Rico should have done something rather than, uh, was it Chris Jericho who got knocked out by Hugh Jackman, the Wolverine? Sean O'Hare. Tommy Dreamer, Mr. ECW. WWE.
Christian. Ah, the nature boy, Ric Flair. I enjoy taking photos. I would use the photos with stories. Remember back in the day, Bill After was great with the magazines, Pro Wrestling Illustrated, The Wrestler, so many others. And I noticed that he would write and he would take photos. Usually in journalism at back then, you do one or the other. So I was got into, I was a writer, but I got into taking photos and start upgrading my equipment, learning more about photography, took some courses in college and just start taking photos too. So not only was I a writer, but also a photographer. Kane, Mr. Mayor. We're in the political season. The game, Triple H. RVD. How cool is that? He would do RVD and then point to himself. The fans love that. Trish Stratus. Satisfaction. Gold dust. see the natural dustin rhodes and to see at his age still able to get in there and produce really good matches that's a credit to him dave batista and triple h evolution yes this is part of evolution time a young dave batista evolution again you have rick flair with batista while Triple H is in the ring. Maven, tough enough winner. I think that's referee Charles Robinson. Yeah, that's that's little Nate, Charles Robinson behind him. You just see one of his eyes. But Maven, tough enough winner, eliminated The Undertaker in a Royal Rumble. That's a career highlight in itself. Jerry the King Lawler, unbelievable career, all different, I mean, in the ring, out of the ring, commentary. Maybe him and Jeff Jarrett are two that have done just so much in the wrestling business. D'Lo Brown, one of my favorites, down with the Brown, doing his Merton Hanks shimmy to the ring. Burton Hanks back then with the San Francisco 49ers. They were good back then and they're still good now, even though they finished second to the Chiefs. Three minute warning. And Chris Nowinski, actual Harvard grad. The Nowinski Foundation, Nowinski Institute. Do a lot for sports and concussions. All right, everyone. So, well, I hope you enjoyed that. You know, the good thing about this is you could fast forward, do whatever you want with it. But I hope you enjoyed that a little bit. Looking at the new Panini cards. Also, some of the photos back in the day in Florida. Travels of the Florida wrestling circuit. And I'll probably put another one up. See if you guys like this. I'll... Do another one with more panini cards, more photos. Maybe do some with the hats as well. So get ready for WrestleMania season. That'll be a lot of fun coming up here when WrestleMania is in Philadelphia. So it'll be good times. And if you get a chance, check out some indie wrestling in your area. If you have some indie shows, you never know someday. You might see someone there who makes it on TV. And with the way streaming is now, you can see a lot of talent just blossoming through different channels and all. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Talk to y'all later. Bye.